Eden Hazard has gone from being the best player in the Premier League to now the Real Madrid bench. How is a player with so much talent basically just become a Bruh. meme? So today it's time for Eden Hazard's redemption. We're gonna save his career, save his legacy and try to make him the world's best player once again. To start things off, Eden Hazard needs to decide what's next for him in his career. Right now he's at Real Madrid but he's 31 years old and if he's not gonna play as a starter, there's no way we can make him the world's best player once again. And look at this Real Madrid team. They've got Vinicius already, Karim Benzema, players like Rodrigo and Asensio even. There's no way Hazard's getting into this team, especially when you've got his teammates like Tony Cruz making comments like this about him. And even Carlo Ancelotti apparently does not have that good of a relationship with Hazard. The only solution for Eden to become the world's best player once again is to leave. There's one club where Eden Hazard was simply sensational, guided them to multiple Premier League trophies, winning Premier Premier League player of the year award as well. Yes, that club is Chelsea. If somehow Hazard could make a move back to Chelsea, that could reignite his career once again. And so it's time for Eden Hazard to make a call to Chelsea's new owner, Todd Bowley. Hey Todd, congrats on buying Chelsea. You must know that I'm one of Chelsea's greatest ever players and I was wondering if you'd be interested in signing me back again. I think I can win you guys the Premier League. Sadly for Eden Hazard, Todd Bowley was not having any of it. I'm sorry Eden, I've read about your exploits at Chelsea, you're a good player and all but you're clearly the past and we're looking into the future. I believe in my boys Pulisic and Sterling more than you. I'm sorry, you're finished. That was not the message Eden Hazard wanted to hear. It was plain disrespectful, but hey, the way Hazard's been playing, what else can he expect? With Chelsea out of the window, there was only a fair few clubs who were now interested in Eden Hazard. Because of his performances, none of them were top clubs. The one club that was interested in Hazard's services were his former club Lille, where Hazard was a legend. They were willing to sign Eden Hazard, but they wanted him to reduce his wages massively. And that's exactly what Hazard did, almost taking a 50% pay cut. And with that, Eden Hazard decides to join Lille. His career at Real Madrid is over. His dream of winning the Champions League with Madrid as a protagonist is over, but a new era for him begins. The redemption of Eden Hazard begins now as he dons the number 10 jersey for Lille. This could be the club where he reignites his career and starts on a new journey. Lille somehow managed to generate the money for this, about 20 million and another play in a swap deal. Is this going to be worth it? The first thing Hazard needs to do with his new club is to have a discussion with the manager and just figure things out. Paolo Francesca, the boss of Lille, welcomes Hazard. Hey Eden, we're happy to have you at the club, but things are going to be different. Let's be honest, you don't have the pace you once had. I'm going to find a new role for you in our team. I want you to play as a centre forward alongside Jonathan David and this way we can get the best out of both of you. And Hazard was actually super happy happy with this. And so that's the Lille team Eden Hazard's playing in. If he can deliver here in Liga, I'm sure the big clubs elsewhere will be looking to sign him. It's time to revive his career. It's now time for Eden Hazard to make his Lille return and it's against a rival like all the big Lille. Eden Hazard, lovely turn and a chance to score on his Lille return. Hazard, oh it's a brilliant finish. Eden Hazard playing at a club he loves. Being the protagonist has scored already. Is this the start? of Eden Hazard's revival. What a touch, what a dribble, and the finish even better. No, that's a silly goal to concede. Ah, Leon get a goal back. Jonathan David might have a chance here. Oh, off the crossbar. Oh, that spin a Rooney from Eden Hazard. Here he goes. Here he goes. Hazard bringing it inside. Oh, what a lovely goal from Eden Hazard. He's well and truly back at Lille. Jonathan David. No, oh, Hazard gets the assist for that, I think. There you go. 3-1. This game's done. Hazard again. Finding space. Going for goal. Looking for that hat trick. He almost got it. What a debut. Or a return, I should say, to Lille. And that's full time. First game for Eden Hazard in Lille. And he ends up scoring a couple of goals. Getting an assist. This is the start of Hazard's revival. After that ridiculous debut, Eden Hazard's form continued as he formed a great partnership with Jonathan David. Jonathan David looking for Eden Hazard. And these two love linking up and creating space for each other. Bang! There's a goal for Hazard. Oh, Hazard laying it off for Jonathan David. Tough angle, but David makes it look easy. These two, what a fantastic duo they are. And with Hazard's resurgence,
Emergence, Lille were honestly looking like potential title contenders after they won their first four games. But Hazard, now being one of their leaders, realized that this team had a problem. And so he decided to speak to the manager. Hey boss, I feel like we've got the quality to win the league, but we'll need to make one change. We desperately need a new goalkeeper. And so after listening to Eden Hazard, Lille decided to make a signing that could change the game. Yes, Taylor Navas. Navas actually played with Hazard, so knows him well. And Navas is the kind of keeper that can help Lille mount a title challenge. And the difference with Kayla Navas was evident as Lille kept winning games. With Hazard at the helm, Lille were now top of the league, four points clear of PSG. But this was about to be their biggest challenge yet. If Hazard and Lille can somehow beat PSG, well, then Lille are title contenders. If not, PSG are gonna do it once again. Hazard really doing well spreading the play, but it's a bit too much against this PSG side. They're so good. But you know what the best players do? They produce magical moments. Oh, Hazard, what a first touch. What a first touch. And what a chance. Eden Hazard against PSG. Out of nowhere, Lille have taken the lead. It's a magic goal from Eden Hazard. PSG's pressure was a bit too much for Hazard. He wasn't able to do anything. Even with Hazard producing that magical moment, this was still PSG we're talking about. Chance it for Neymar as he gets a goal back for PSG. And so this game ends in a one-all draw. Even though it's not a win for Lille, Hazard's magic magical control and goal has got them a fighting chance in Liga with this result. And so now we're halfway through the Liga season. PSG sadly back on top as usual, but we're still in this fight. We showed in that game against PSG that Hazard can carry this team and just three points behind. On an individual level, things are going brilliant for Hazard. He's actually gone up by one in his overall at the age of 31. And so far this season, nine goals and two assists. Incredible. But the truth is, if Hazard wants to win Liga go with Lille, the team needs to get better. And so once again, Hazard is out here suggesting the manager to bring in some players. Hazard basically says that the club needs a midfielder and a defender if they want to challenge PSG. And so the first signing Lille make is Corentin Tolisso, an experienced midfielder that could help Lille win the league. The next signing was a player Hazard played with for a long, long time. It was Cesar Aspeliqueta. The two have shared so many trophies together and it's time now for them to be reunited. Cesar Hazard Aspeliqueta confirmed to join Lille in Hazard's quest for redemption. The only reason Aspeliqueta was agreeing to join this club was because of Hazard. And with the new signings, Lille were once again getting results. And so we're almost at the end of the season and Hazard's Lille is so close to winning the league title. Two points above PSG and if Hazard and Lille can beat PSG in this next game, they will be champions. On a personal level, Hazard's done incredibly well, scoring 14 goals, 9 assists, but if he can win the league with Lille. I'm sure clubs like Chelsea will be interested to get their hands on Hazard. Can Eden Hazard produce one more magical night to get Lille the trophy? Let's see. Hazard finding some open space goes for it but the keeper saves. He looks to be in the mood tonight. Hazard, tough angle goes for it and almost scores. He's doing everything to win the title. Kylian Mbappe going for goal and Mbappe scores. No! The party could be ruined. PSG could end up ruining everything. Oh, it's a lovely ball for Eden Hazard. Can he finish it? No! Hazard down the wing has somehow got the pace here. He's going to be unselfish laying it off for his teammate and the team play, the duo of David and Hazard gets the team back in it. Eden Hazard is literally playing like his old self down the left wing, creating chances, dribbling, and it's all working. Still Eden Hazard, still Hazard. Oh, it's lovely. Dog bins from Hazard. The goal to win League uh, with Lille. PSG stunned as Hazard produces another magic moment. And yes, a moment of brilliance from Hazard was enough to get Lille the Liga trophy. I cannot believe Hazard has just won Liga with Lille. And so Hazard ends the season with 19 goals and 10 assists. He's truly revived his career. But what's next for him? Lille will be in the Champions League. But let's be honest, they don't have what it takes to win. Is it time for Hazard to make a move elsewhere now that he's accomplished what he had to with Lille? And to help make this decision easier, just as we were heading into season two, Eden Hazard receives a call from Todd Bowley, Chelsea's owner.
Before we pick up this call from Chelsea's new owners, if you guys could subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. It's now time for Hassan to have a chat with Todd Bowley. Hey Eden, I've got to admit, I've made a big mistake not signing you last season. We couldn't win the Champions League or Premier League and maybe if I'd signed you, we would have won everything. But I watched how you carried Lille to the league title and I want you at my club for next season. Alright Todd, I'm willing to join Chelsea but I have a few conditions. You need to make me one of the highest paid players in the club, especially considering I was the best player in the French League last season. And also you need to make two signings that I won for the club so that we can win the big trophies. And Todd Bowley had no choice but to accept Eden Hazard's demands. He wanted one of Chelsea's best ever players back at the club. And there you go, Eden Hazard is back being a player of Chelsea. With Eden Hazard now at Chelsea, there are going to be a few changes. He's not going to have the freedom like he once had playing in that 4-4-2. Instead, he's going to be playing as a cam in a 4-2-3-1. Maybe this might work better for Eden Hazard because it's less dependent on his physical attributes playing as a cam. So let's see how he adapts. Right now, the captain is N'Golo Conte. But if I'm being honest, that is not a proper captain for Chelsea. Eden Hazard, I'm sure, is eyeing that captaincy, but he'll need to be here for a while again to just make a claim for it. Also, look at the competition for Hazard's place. Players like Madueke, Hakim Ziyech, Raheem Sterling, Kai Havertz, and even Mason Mount, all of them play in a similar position. It's not going to be easy for Hazard to make a claim for that camp spot, but hey, Todd Bowley promised that this team is going to be built around him, and Hazard also has two signings to make to improve the team. But it's first time for Eden Hazard to make his historic return at Stamford Bridge and see what the club is like after he left. Not sure playing alongside Romelu Lukaku is going to go well because, uh, what was that? Oh, this Chelsea team is not the same. Look at them. Ah, oh, conceding silly goals like that. Ay, ay, ay. Although we've got players like Enzo Fernandez in there, which is awesome. Marquinhos at the back. I feel like our attack is toothless and maybe that's where we need to help the board use those two signings. Hazard sending it through for Romelu Lukaku. He's just so slow and he can't get the ball back to Hazard. We need a better strike partner. Hazard gets the ball. Still eating. Proper chance and Hazard is back in Chelsea and scores a lovely goal. Doesn't matter if his teammates up top are absolute frauds. Eden's doing the job all by himself. Oh, Hazard managed to shrug off all opponents. Needs to bring it inside. Eden Hazard. Oh, it's lovely. It is lovely. What a goal from Eden. With that, he's helped secure an amazing win for Chelsea, but the job has only begun. Hazard's back here to win trophies. And we need to get this team improved, otherwise Hazard ain't winning anything. The fact that Eden is 32 years old, time isn't on his side. If he wants to win the Premier League once again, the Champions League once again, he'll need to get this team ready to go. The first player Hazard wants is a rapid winger and in the market, there couldn't be a better option than Usman Dembele. The next player needed was a superstar striker and Eden Hazard wanted a goal machine. And right now, who's a better goal machine than Victor Osimhen? The two signings Chelsea have just made in Osimhen and Dembele are clearly players that could get the best out of Eden Hazard. And now, this Chelsea team and Hazard are ready. And just as you expected, the new signings on Eden Hazard were lighting up the Premier League. Eden Hazard. Oh, what a ball for Osimhen. Oh, this duo is going to be ruthless. Dembele. Oh, slotting it through for Eden Hazard. Hazard on his right foot. Oh, lovely stuff. This trio is just amazing. It was now time for the Champions League. Hazard's return to the competition. While he was at Lille, he could only watch the Champions League from his TV set. But now, he's back playing in the competition. And Hazard is desperate to be the man to guide Chelsea to another Champions League. But things couldn't have started worse for Eden Hazard as he got taken out by Marcus Llorente and he had suffered a knock and wasn't moving properly. And he had to be subbed off. There was no choice. Another season possibly of Hazard in the Champions League being wasted? Nah, this is brutal. Without Hazard, this team crumbled. Eden was the focal point and Atletico beat them. And would you believe it? Hazard had broken his elbow. Is this the same Hazard we're getting at Real Madrid that suffered from injury after injury well he's out for the next four months and the fact that this is a euro year next year we're gonna have the euros 2024 and Hazard would want to try and win that as that could be his last ever time playing for Belgium this is bad the next four months it's all about recovery and just hoping Chelsea can cope well without Eden Hazard but the truth is without Hazard this team was not the same and would you believe it without Eden Hazard Chelsea knocked out of the Champions League finishing last in the group is Hazard's dream of winning 
winning the Champions League being the main man never gonna happen? In other news, the good thing was that Eden Hazard was back in training, but his dream had already been crushed. But there was still a lot to play for. The Premier League title, the FA Cup even, and Chelsea won the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. If Hazard can win all domestic trophies, that would be one way to revive his career and cement his legacy as a Premier League great. But the issue is, with that injury, Eden Hazard is slowly deteriorating in stats, in ability, in physical conditioning. It might be the last few years we see him at his peak. He needs to make it count. Hazard was now fully fit and it was now time for his first cup final with Chelsea. Can he put the disappointment of the Champions League behind him? Before that, he got a call from the Belgium manager who came in. Hey Eden, you know the Euros are coming up. I'm already shortlisting my squad. And sadly, as of now, you're not in it. I'm not sure how you'll perform because of your injury, but if you're able to win all three trophies with Chelsea, I will have no choice but to pick you, so it's in your hand. The stakes are higher than ever for Hazard. He's just realized that if he doesn't win these trophies for Chelsea, he might not get picked for the Euros. Go on, Hazard. Go on, Hazard. Go on, Hazard. Oh, ho, ho. that is a beauty. The pressure's on, and Eden delivers. Just after the goal, though, it looks like Hazard had a relapse of his old injury, but this time Hazard decided to stay on the pitch because he knew what happened the last time he went off. His team got knocked out. Hazard's on the pitch and Hazard scores. He's carrying this Chelsea team on his back, even with the injury. And with that, Eden Hazard completes his first hurdle, winning the Carabao Cup. Meanwhile, in the Premier League, Chelsea were winning almost every game. I guess not being in the Champions League helped in a way. And with that, Chelsea managed to seal the Premier League title with two games to spare. That's trophy number two secured for Eden Hazard. And it's the Premier League title. Not quite the Champions League, but it's still a big achievement to come back and win the Prem. With the Premier League and Carabao Cup secured, it's now time for the FA Cup final. Chelsea managed to knock out all possible opponents. Now they're facing Man United, a rematch of the Carabao Cup final. If Eden Hazard manages to win this, he'd have won every domestic trophy possible with Chelsea on his comeback, which is something. Hazard! Oh, ho, ho, that was close. What an attempt. Hazard, finesse shot, ooh, ooh, keeper saving, but hey, Eden is in the mood for this one. Osimhen's making a lovely run, instead we look the other way for Usman Dembele, and a chance, and Enzo ends up scoring. That one was created by Hazard, did you see his pass? Chelsea lead 1-0 in the FA Cup final. Hazard now trying to go for goal himself, so close, one more goal, and I think this game's done, and Hazard wants it. Hazard looking for Osimhen, and he slid him through, and Osimhen ends up scoring. I don't think Chelsea are coming back from this. Eden hasn't scored yet, but he's played a big part in setting up both goals. And now Hazard is through on goal. He wants to get his own goal as well, and he gets it. Chelsea are about to win the FA Cup as well. And with that, Hazard gets to complete his story at Chelsea in a brilliant way, winning all three domestic cups. But there's still something left. It's now time for the 2024 Euros, and this is going to be the last time Hazard gets to try and win an international trophy. He failed to win the Champions League with Chelsea, but that was not really his fault. But this time, he's fully fit and ready to go for Belgium, and this is it. He's also going to be the Belgium captain. He's going to lead his nation. This is it. The draw has been made for the Euros, and Belgium have got the most difficult group possible. This is unbelievable. To make things worse, Hazard's got a red card from maybe one of the qualifiers. He won't be able to play in this big game. Hazard's going to watch from the sidelines as his team plays Scotland, and they only get a draw without him, which means Eden Hazard needs to deliver in the next couple of group stage games, otherwise it's all over. It was now time for Hazard to play his first game at the Euros. There was no way he was letting his country down. Eden Hazard looking to produce for his country, finding space. Oh, gets taken out, penalty! This is Eden Hazard's moment. He scores this penalty, puts his team in a great spot to win this group stage game as Hazard does score and Belgium lead versus Italy. Hazard sliding it through for De Catalaire and the youngster scores. Hazard supplying the goal this time. Hazard, lovely release for sale makers. Back for Eden Hazard and they're making it look easy. With that, Hazard and Belgium managed to top their Euros group, but the tournament is only about to get more difficult. The draw has been made and these are the remaining teams in the Euros quarterfinals and Belgium are going to be up against Netherlands. This is bad. Netherlands are not going to be easy. But Eden Hazard was on a mission. Virgil van Dijk, Frankie de Jong, none of them were going to stop him. Hazard 
A man looks possessed and Eden Hazard in the European quarterfinals has just did a madness there. Eden Hazard has scored a European knockout goal against Netherlands. Hazard. Oh, he's gotten past another one. Eden Hazard laying it off for his teammate. Unselfish play there. Doing what's best for the team. Could Belgium be on their way to a European Cup final? And yes, indeed, Belgium are in the final of the Euros. And it's against Spain. Eden Hazard has a chance to get revenge on Real Madrid. This is it. And so it all comes down to this for Eden Hazard. Can he guide Belgium? To that trophy. Oh, Hazard has sent Yuri Tielemans on the run here. Tielemans 1v1 and he's actually scored. Hazard gets the assist. Tielemans scored. Belgium need 1-0. This could be it. Eden Hazard. Oh, little shimmy inside. Going for goal. It's brilliant, but the keeper saves. One more goal and Spain are done. Hazard down the touchline. It's been ages since he's been asked to play this role, but right now it's all about keeping the ball and maybe looking for that one moment to strike. But it's not coming for Hazard, but time is running out as well. We have just one minute to go. Hazard's got the ball on the touchline. You think he's going to cut inside? Absolutely not. We're going to take the ball to the touchline. Waste as much time as possible. We're playing for our country here. we got to do whatever it takes. And that's exactly what Hazard's doing. He's not looking for personal glory. He wants that trophy with Belgium. And I think he might end up getting it. It's done. It is done. Aiden Hazard has saved his legacy, his career, winning the Euros for Belgium. It's been an incredible end to his career, winning Liga, winning the Premier League, FA Cup, Carabao Cup, and to top it all off, of course, the Euros. If you enjoyed this story of saving Eden Hazard's career, I'm sure you'll enjoy saving Neymar's career. But care to watch that.